Uh, intro. Thank it's you. intro time. Shush. Everyone, shut up. We have we have one more topic to get into. Let's jump into it right away. It is all of the debacle surrounding the PlayStation 5 Pro. So, Cody, please, as a PlayStation fan, someone who has owned every PlayStation device since the PS2. Wrong. You own the, the, the two, the three? No, three. You didn't own the three? What? I you, didn't own the three. You own the three? I was an Xbox guy that time. Fine. 360. You, you get yeah, one. Was, yeah. You get one. Yeah. You get, play the PS2, the four, and five? The PS2, the four, and five, yeah. One, oh. one two, four, five. You own the one? Did Fuck you, yeah. That was my did? first, like, console that, like, I kind of personally what, You own. think you're showing off now? You think you're a big, big boy? Big britches? Yeah, I know. I said I was poor all this time, but I was actually a rich kid at heart. <laughs> I had a Game Boy. <laughs> it was like a portable PS, PlayStation. I couldn't afford it in advance, though. <laughs> Tell me about the PS5. Like, what... Tell me about the PS5 and your experience with that system. And uh, tell me who was like who was wanting something stronger and better than that. <laughs> it was like this was mi- you know what this was missing? Enhanced graphics cards, higher RAM, better storage, no disk drive. Go ahead. For 300 more dollars. Yeah. Um, <laughs> 700 dollar fucking price tag. Uh, <laughs> the PS5 is great. It's leaps and bounds better than PS4. Mm-hmm. I got an Xbox Series X or S, sorry, which sucks dick. It's got <laughs> yeah, it's, it's got no storage. Uh, one I I bought it because it was digital. I did fuck it. I don't need a disc drive. I'll spend two hundred dollars less. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, but you it's deserve. supposed to be an online <laughs> only console, and I've Great. complained about this. You betrayed the hard copy. You <laughs> get what you deserve. <laughs> I've complained about this console time and time again on it. The Series S. It's supposed to be digital, online only, and runs at uh, 1440 is the highest. Won't, yep. Won't go past that. And it disconnects from the internet every goddamn game you're in. <laughs> You'd be like, nope, dropped. It's like, what the fuck, man? This is your one job. You had one job. It's the same problem that Stadia, the Google Stadia had. And it's, it's, and, and it's like, uh, everyone's talking about how it's like, uh, it's held back. This current gen's like performance and whatnot because everyone's trying to make shit work for Series S. Mm-hmm. And it's like, I mean, some some companies with their games like manage to do it. Like, uh, I think I played Cyberpunk on it when it first came out, and I actually, oh didn't, no, I didn't actually have that many problems like people did. Really? Yeah. Like, I thought you had a bunch of graphical issues. Dude. Okay. I actually like I've been lucky when it comes to like people like buggy messes that come out and people are like it's unplayable i can't do it and i'm just sitting there like we i have no issues <laughs> no crashes at all or anything but yeah no the ps5 is great love it it's probably my favorite console i've ever owned mm-hmm. it's right below the ps2 because of nostalgia was it a 500 hundred dollar price tag i paid six you paid six i paid six hundred dollars right after the big uh like scalping Okay, debacle. right. That's you have to remember that that happens every freaking new console that the the scalpers come out and right. take every Best Buy's inventory. What did I get? I got it when God of War Ragnarok came out. Whenever that was, God, those scalpers hit hard on that last gen. Yeah, that was fucking insane. Because you know you got Amazon people that are just like, hey, we got a PS5 going to this place. Yeah, we'll just grab it. It's a doorstep. <laughs> we'll just take it. <laughs> Porch pirates. Oh, that's right, them too. But. uh yeah, no, it's I pull out my gun. It runs great. Uh, UI is way better than the PS4. No problems with it whatsoever. Now, is there a need to spend another $700 to get more storage space, basically? That's... Because it's not even like that big of like a performance bump. Oh, we got a photo. Yeah. We got a photo. You guys are going to love like, this. If you want that much graphical fidelity... My PC. So this is from The Verge. Uh, dot com. They have they pulled this up. So we got the PS5 uh, performance on RT for the Ratchet and Clank game, and then we have the PS5 Pro. Uh, find the difference. <laughs> I can't. I don't see it. I I've looked. I thought the PS5 looked better. Why is Ratchet in the Third Reich? <laughs> 
<laughs> We're gonna get canceled again. No, I'm just kidding. We haven't been canceled yet. Step oddly, up your game. Uh, oddly, the PS5 like basic one almost like like little. Maybe my eyes are deceiving me, but like the that billboard up in the background almost looks clear. Yeah, the PS5 in my in as I'm looking, the PS5 looks clearer. Maybe it's more. Maybe it's brighter, so I think it looks better because that's a tr- that's a pretty common. Pretty common issue. People think that people correlate the brightness of an image with its with the quality of an image when really it should come down to contrast and details. Right. But um, that's like when you walk into like a, a, a superstore and they have TVs on the on the wall. They're all set to their brightest setting because people are are dumb and they think the bright like if it looks good right, in its brightest right. setting, it's going to be great. But you, well, that's not quality image. That's not the best image you can get from it. It's like Miguel Sapochnik that told <laughs> everyone uh, to. Brighten up their TVs on uh, season eight of Game of Thrones during that uh, battle of Winterfell. Well, that actually was the everyone's TV is just not bright enough. Well, that's that's actually also wrong. So you should be in a dark, like you should be watching that season in a dark room, but you should also have it on the maximum contrast, which was or like the the movie mode, the the like uh, the detailed cinematic mode. What I'm saying is he t- he told everyone. No, his, that, I'm saying TVs, he's retarded. So, yeah, I'm saying, and we got a lot of evidence to to ascribe to that. So, yay. Yay. Yeah. So the PS5 doesn't have an audience. Um, anyone who wants a, gra- a highly... Pro. Uh, PS5 Pro. Thank you. for thank PS5, you. The PS5 is uh, on par with one of the best... Uh, PS4 is the best on console of all time. It's on par, par of sales with that right now. So okay. It sold about 60 million, I want to say. Okay. PS5 did. And I think the total is like 100 some million well the uh the ps5 pro doesn't have an audience because the physical storage um my understanding of the con- first off i haven't been a console player in like five years i i, I hate consoles generally speaking yeah. they I, say a terabyte it's not it's 800 and some games yep and then i believe that you could still add a uh, ex- ex- external hard drive, yeah. hard drive to it to expand that and exter- there are some like uh, one terabyte uh, external hard drives going for like five hundred fucking dollars. Uh, they w- that's like a server hard drive. Like that's like a server quality hard drive. I don't know. I just Amazon it once, and I was like, nah, I'll just delete game. You can get it's it, it's cheap. It actually is cheap to get expandable uh, hard it's- drives. Uh, but the the graphics card is probably one of the big th- big aspects to it. Why they have the price increase? Because the graphics card is going to be fucking expensive. Um, that is, yeah. Then you have the the storage, the graphics card. It's not enough to get anybody who's serious about the quality of their game off of like off of one of the base generation consoles into like an elite generation consoles. You're that much closer to a PC, which in my mind, it. Like, okay, yeah, you can either spend the seven hundred dollars on a PS5 Pro or a thousand dollars on a really good fucking PC. Yeah, exactly. Here's my. I spent a grand on my uh, laptop, and that thing runs everything that's coming out these days. Here's an open. I want. I want you to have an open mind when I run this idea past you. I, want, I just. I don't have an open mind. Fair it's enough. Very closed. <laughs> it never opens. It's very closed. <laughs> <laughs> never opened. Not one time. Okay. <laughs> PlayStation should um, create a desktop. That's basically like an Alienware You're like, concept. So Sony should uh, develop their own desktop. Yeah. Yeah. It so you have a uh, like, they should come up. They should build their own operating system for a desktop experience. Um, they should become a competitor with Microsoft and Apple on that front. Sony should create a desktop experience, and then when the console war inevitably fizzles out because everyone's like the price of a. Desktop, the price of a console is so fucking stupid. Now we can just get, we're just gonna go to PC. Sony just loses because they have nowhere to grab it. They have nowhere to bring an audience to. But if they did, if they did build a console or a desktop experience, they could also take advantage of their um, their VR setups that they have. Oh. They could take better advantage of their VR setups, and they wouldn't be com- they wouldn't be conditioned on like making it compatible with with Xbox and Microsoft desktop. What was what was the Oculus? Was that Microsoft? The Oculus, I believe. I thought Microsoft Oculus was Google. But uh, I don't know. oh, there's we, the Google glasses. No, the Apple glasses. I <laughs> I don't actually know it's the hard to keep up. the VR thing. I also don't. I know PlayStation's like when it, between PlayStation and Xbox, PlayStation's got like a fuckload of VR stuff on it. 
PlayStation has one of the best VR experiences, but they can't, they're not compatible with uh, the desktop until recently they released a, an adapter to, to make it compatible with the desktop. So now it, so now it is, um, but realistically, rather than investing any time into building an adapter, they should double down on my idea, which is build a desktop experience. And again, there's precedent for it. It's like Alienware, uh, like MSI, like there's there, right. like, all you need is the hardware and the hard part would be to build a from the ground up operating system to compete PS6 with six is a desktop. <laughs> it's an idea. It, the hard part would be building an operating system. You have, I mean, so, if Sony like uh, was working with, through Linux, they could be the com- they could be the company that brings Linux to like a higher level of uh, cons- like consumer viability, because you have Windows, you have Apple, you have Linux, but Linux doesn't really exist on the consumer market. It's, I mean, it it does, but most people don't in- interact with Linux. Most people interact with Windows. Right. And then Apple has just kind of got a bunch of weird computers that are stupid looking. But if so, I think if Sony spent their time and resources on well, getting like into Mac. that market, no, I don't like the stupid Mac. I think people who use that are actually unintelligent. Uh, I don't. I don't even. When's the last time I even saw a Mac? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it's just like. Anything you want to do on a Mac will perform better on a PC. I don't. I can't think of a single example of anything that isn't like an Apple specific software. Is that a problem in high school, where it's like all Mac computers in high school, and then like people would do like their uh, like PowerPoints and whatnot. Yeah, it wasn't like, compatible. Yeah, it's not compatible. Apple's just so stupid. They they're for they're tr- they try to force the market to uh, adhere to them. When they are like the the minority product, like they're the worst of the products. They still make bank though. Well, that's because they cater to the stupid. And this the is iPhone. The- if you don't have the iPhone 23 right now, you're poor. You are poor. Well, even the people with the iPhone 23 are poor because they just keep spending stupid amounts of money. Like my phone is actually as good as any of those other phones. I spent 400 bucks on it just out of pocket. The, like the new Price iPhone, too. the new iPhone, the new Samsung are going to be like 1,200 bucks out of pocket. How the fuck did we start talking about this? Uh, that's hardware, my, my Sony. fault. My my fault, obviously. All right, we're but gonna like, go like ahead. this, like they're almost like selling this, like this is almost like next gen. This is elite. This is elite. It's so much better. It's a higher caliber of human who buys this. And it's just, oh yeah, and they they had to write on, uh, they had to write in, it's like, oh, uh, the stand is sold separately because they are they're advertising it standing <laughs> up. Right. So the stand's gonna be like another fifty bucks. Oh my god. Yeah, I mean controllers like, sold separately. Right. <laughs> That's right. just such a it's a bad look. It really is. The Sony so I if I was Nintendo right now, I would like here's Switch two. Boom. <laughs> Switch. They're coming they're coming out with it here, son. Yeah. I mean Xbox is gonna come up with something in I the future. I, I think it'll be a little longer for if Xbox. I was Nintendo, I'd slap my dick on the table and just be like, yo. We made a desktop. I guess. <laughs> Nintendo made a desktop. It's, it's like what HBO does with uh, House of the Dragon. It's like Rings of Power drops a trailer. And it's like, yo, look at our trailer. <laughs> right at the same time as Rings of Power. That was yeah. beautiful. That was our. If only it wasn't as bad as it was. A lot more trash talking <laughs> and stuff between big companies. I love that. You remember when Wendy's was on Twitter? Oh yeah, yeah. They were, they <laughs> Wendy's were pretty was bad. Fun. That was hilarious. That wasn't the reason I bought Wendy's ever, because I wasn't on Twitter back then. But, but I like Nintendo is like because it's such like a kid friendly kind of like company and whatnot, and all their games are, and just be like, just start talking mad shit. You need commu- So the way you go about doing this is, is Sony like, South Korean or Japanese? Uh, Sony is Japanese. Uh, Nintendo's Japanese. Yep. Yeah. Someone is Battle of the Japs. LG and Samsung are both uh, South Korean. Someone's Taiwanese too, probably. <laughs> All right, guys, we are going to wrap it up there. Thank you so much for tuning into this podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, again, consider subscribing, smash the like button, share the video out there, comment your thoughts below, and we will see you guys on the next one. Go tell your stories. Peace. Bye.